there, Master Hellish here and welcome to an open TTD Spotlight video. Today we'll be looking at Toyland alternatives. Why? Well, it's not much loved. Across the middle here you can see that we've got the different landscape styles. We've got the temperate environment, we've got subarctic, subtropical and the Toyland one. Now each one provides different aspects of the challenges as well as different gra graphics. And well, the graphics of the Toyland one is not liked at all. You can see here with its garish buildings, industries, trees and grassette, it is a pretty ugly looking thing. Well, that's what I think anyway, and it seems like a lot of people agree. However, if you don't like Toyland, or if you do, but you fancy having another alternative, I've got two options for you. Both of these new options are new GRFs, so if you want to use them, you need to go into check online content, find them in the list here, and when you do, tick next to the name and click download. Once you've done that, they'll appear in your new GRF settings options. And here is the first option for today, the Toyland Temperate Replacement. Now, you can see here that I've got it listed in my um, GRFs that are available to me. If I select it and add, it will appear in my active ones. And up here, you can see the information about this particular mod. We're going to click Apply Changes, close the window, and start a new game. We're going to select Toyland, and then go in. Now, you can already see straight away that this is a little bit different from what it looked like previously. The grass texture is that of the temperate environment. It's been pulled over. The water texture is the same, the trees, the buildings and the industries, they're all the same as well. However, the rocks and the grass are all from the temperate and I think it really does take the edge of the Toyland. I feel like that this is at a level whilst where the buildings and trees are very garish, I could live with it, I could play with this, I could actually use this environment as it stands. I think it just takes that edge off and allows me to be able to enjoy it and work with it without wanting to rip my eyeballs out. So for some people this might be the difference between playing Toyland or not, and if that is you then this particular mod is for you as well. Now, if it is not quite enough and you want to take it one step further, one thing you, I could recommend that if you bring up the transparency options, you could turn the trees transparent. This takes another level off and for me makes a good difference. I would like to see something like this, maybe where the standard trees from the temperate environment are included, or maybe a watered down colour version. But I think it's a good option and yeah, I might use this one day. So if you still find this too garish and you don't like it, there's still another fantastic option available. And that other option is the Toyland to Mars conversion. You see it here, selected as a new GRF. This was originally part of the original Transport Tycoon game, but as a, as a kind of um, optional uh, tile set. But here you can see that we've got a GRF with all that wrapped up and all the details about how to find out more about that and the website and so forth are there uh, on the right hand side. So if we um, select that one as an active one and apply the changes, let's go take a look. So we start a brand new world with the Toyland landscape selected and instead of Toyland we get, oh, this looks good, we get Mars. Now look at this, this is interesting. Now. It is a little bit on the on the garish scale. It it does register, but only a little bit to me. I mean, the, the the red water with the texture. I mean, oh my goodness. I mean, is it red water? Is it lava? Is it is it blood? Who knows? Um, but there are some fantastic graphics and textures in here. So we've got the uh, alternate tree styles and. The buildings, some of these buildings are brilliant. I mean, looking at all these different fantastical, whimsical buildings. Now, the industries are still the same industries as Toyland. So there is the um, toy factory. Over here, we've got a toy shop. They look different, but they're all the same sort of thing. So this is a battery farm. It looks different, but it's a battery farm. Here, we've got a bubble generator and candy flossed forest it's and but to me I, I really do like the style of this and i think we're, we're gonna have a, vi um, a viewers game uh, in this style at some point in the future now it looks like the rivers need sorting out because we've got the old blue going into the red there 
Uh, so that's just something that doesn't quite match up. But overall, I really like this. And we're going to have a look at what some of the things look like in there as well. So electrified railway, let's um, put a little railway in. So let's get a station. Uh, we'll do not a massive station. We'll do a, a small station over here. And uh, we'll also put the station in a place where I can actually access it. There we go. And we've got another town over here. So we'll put another one in that orientation. And just so we can see what it looks like, let's put a, a rather large station down. So there you are, look. Mars stations and rail. Let's get some railway going. There we go. And I must admit, I really, really like this. It's um, something that I was aware of for a long time, but didn't look into for a long time. And I have no idea why I put it off, because this, to me is absolutely lovely and it brings back memories as well because i remember seeing this um in uh transport tycoon in the original transport tycoon i remember seeing some of these elements but i'd forgotten about it uh so let's put down and have a look at some of these wagons and rails there's there's gonna be some good stuff in here there we are so there is an example of a train in this alternate environment and whilst we probably haven't picked the best company color for this let's just change the color scheme uh, dark blue there we are that's a little bit better um i think it looks good i like it so here's a look at some of the items in the waterways you can see the docks you can see the few of the different ship types they all look quite interesting to me here we have an example of an airport, some road vehicles, and some monorail as well. I really do like this, and I think it's an option that I'll be using in the future. I like the futuristic, alien look and feel, and it's something that I'm looking forward to playing. I want to know what you guys think. Do you think that this is a good improvement on Toyland, or did you prefer Toyland? Which environment out of all of them is your favourite? I'd be really interested to know. But that's going to be all for me for now. I hope you enjoyed this. Please give it a like if you did. And if you want to see more like this, remember to subscribe with the notification bell. And I will see you soon. So take care. Thank you very much for watching. And for now, goodbye.